There are several ways to back up your iPad, including all apps on it. In my experience, the best way is to use iTunes on your computer. So I am looking at my computer screen right now. I'm on a PC, but it would be the same on a Mac, I believe. And well, I'm looking at the iTunes um, app on the PC. And so now I'm going to plug my iPad into my PC using a USB connection. And when I do that, you'll see that it immediately starts backing it up. So it says syncing Arlen's iPad, step two of five. And uh, you can also see up here um, in the upper left this little uh, icon that actually looks like an iPhone that is representing my iPad, the fact that it is connected. And you can see down here, devices connected includes uh, Arlen's iPad. And so it's going to go through this process of backing up, which will take a few minutes. And now it's finished. That took about two minutes to do. And uh, so that also synced my music with my uh, from iTunes on my PC to my iPad. So any, any music I had uh, in iTunes on the PC is now in my iPad as well. And now I can open up the uh, iPad device here and see what's in it. But if I click back on that icon at the top, that little one that looked like a, an iPhone, it takes me to the summary of details in my iPad. And so you can see it's a, um, this is what the size of it, and here's the serial number, and what um, iOS version I'm running. And I can check for an update here. If you're still running version 10, you can update it by clicking here. And um, so now the important thing here is backups. If you're currently backing up to the iCloud, notice what it says here, back up the most important data on your iPad to iCloud. Just the most important data. Gee, that's not everything. The other, so if I had that, that's what that would be doing. On the other hand, if I click this, my, this computer, it says a full backup of your iPad will be stored on this computer. So uh, my experience mostly from working with other people has been that if you back up to the iCloud, then it takes, a, and if you have to restore, then all of that data has to be downloaded from the cloud to your computer before it can be restored into your iPad. Whereas if you back up to your computer, then it's already there. Nothing has to be downloaded. The backup happens immediately. And I have done a, a restore from the computer before. It doesn't take a terribly long time. And uh, now the one thing you have to be aware of if you do have to do a restore is that you will have to re-enter things like your Apple ID and passwords and things like that. But all of your data and all of your apps will be restored when you do that. So. I had I have had this open iTunes when this iPad is connected checked. I'm going to uncheck that because for some reason it hasn't been working, and uh, so I'd rather just um, do that manually. Uh, if it works for you, then that's great. But just by connecting your iPad with iPad with with iTunes open, simply connecting your iPad to your computer will automatically sync the two together, and that is the best way to back up your iPad. And then here is restore. So if you do have to restore it, you just click here with them connected. And that's all there is to it. To see the data files in a particular app, and I'm thinking Fourscore in particular, uh, if you go to file sharing, then it gives you a list of all the apps that you have. And if you click on Fourscore, it will show you on the right side all of the files that are in Fourscore. And I have a lot of them. Where this could be advantageous would be, say, the, the most recent file that you downloaded into Fourscore was corrupted somehow, and, and you're having a problem opening Fourscore. You can go in here in, I, in iTunes and go to File Sharing and Fourscore, find that file, and delete it so that uh, hopefully that will solve that problem. So that's just a little tip. Uh, for how to take a look at what's available in a particular app.
And it might be particularly useful for debugging a four score problem. I hope that has been helpful.